Today we're going to check out the CRKT Delta, a long discontinued folding knife that is still widely available on the internet. And stay tuned and we'll see if it floats your boat. Hello everybody. Nice to see you today. The knife we're talking about today is the CRKT Delta and this knife right here is uh, new old stock. So what that basically means is that this knife has been discontinued from CRKT for quite a long while. Um, from the research I was able to do online, what limited research I could do, um, this knife was, came out around the year 2000, so right around the turn of the century. And so, of course, it's 2017 now, so this knife has been out of production for quite a while. But if you do your internet research, um, you can find some places online that still sell this knife brand new. And so this one I purchased from eBay, and it is a folding knife, very um, distinct form factor. It is kind of the, in the style of a traditional folding hunter. But the actual style of the knife, it reminds me kind of like a tactical knife, like an old combat boot knife, um, something of that nature. Um, it is a CRKT knife. You can check out the logo right there. CRKT. And of course, this is the Delta 6213, made in Taiwan. And so the blade steel on this knife is a AUS-6 which for the year 2000 when this knife debuted, that was a, a pretty good steal and something that was an advertising point at, in, in, its, in its years. Um, of course today we don't really see too many more knives made with AUS-6. Um, a lot of knives use AUS-8 as a minimum now. Uh, we see a lot of 8CR13 MOV now. Um, and of course back then I don't even know if that 8CR existed, but this was made in Taiwan and it has pretty good build quality. Um, and so this was new old stock. I got it on eBay from a seller that had quite a few of them in stock, a few different styles and uh, conditions. And now this one didn't come with a box, but this knife does come with a nylon sheath. And again, when you do buy it, make sure that you read the descriptions carefully and see if it comes with the sheath or not. Um, if you don't want one, you can get it a few dollars cheaper. But I did want to include it when I bought this one, so I, I paid a few bucks more. And so this was one of the better condition knives that were available for sale and this cost about $25 uh, which for the price it's a pretty good knife it's a very capable capable knife um, it has a lot of ideas in it that would appear in later knives of the tactical variety I guess you could say but take a look at the blade first I mean I don't buy too many knives that have a bead blast finish like this one but this is a very rough rough bead blast you can just see the texture on it and with bead blast, you do have to be careful to uh, keep it oiled. Otherwise, some rust spots can tend to, to wander in there. Even if you don't use it, even if you just store it, um, sometimes the rust can come in on a bead blasted knife. So that's something I'm going to have to take care of with this one here. But this one is mostly serrated. I would say, you know, more than half serrated edge. Um, it is still very sharp. It is the factory edge because, again, this was new old stock. So this was pretty much unused um, as I purchased it. Um, but, of course, this handle right here, it is a black, like a plastic handle. And the centerpiece, it's the same color, but it's like a rubberized insert. I, don't know, I think they were calling it Craton, but it is a soft, rubbery insert on both sides. And you can see the width of the knife. It's definitely that, sh that shape of a of your traditional kind of a boot knife style knife. And so a lot of fixed blades have a same profile with their scales when you buy them. So I mean that's kind of what they were going for for the overall look of this knife even with the built-in guards here in the handle. Um, definitely kind of it gives me that 80-ish 80 80s ish vibe of, a, of an old old-fashioned boot knife. Um, but this is a liner lock. So let's check out lockup. And the lockup on this one is kind of interesting so check out the liner there. I mean, it's a very thick liner lock. It has a lot of tension on it. You can feel when you're disengaging it. I mean, it really locks into place. But it is, the lockup is kind of wonky on this. Like right now, you can see it's full lockup. I mean, you can push it back earlier. And no matter where the lockup is, there's absolutely no play in this blade, which is kind of interesting. No matter how you lock it up, whether you open it quickly and it goes all the way to the end, or whether you open it very in a nice controlled opening and it goes about halfway across the blade. 
Um, either way, the lockup is secure. Now with hard use, I don't know if that would stay the same. Um, and I'm going to mention when I bought this version here, uh, the same seller was selling a the, the plain edge version of this knife. And that plain edge version, the only ones he had left, he said had side to side play uh, because the liner lock was forced over all the way to the side. And those were still, as far as I remember, um, new old stock knives. So a lot of them, it might be an issue at some point in the future. But it's a really interesting liner lock. And it's hard to see on the video, but you can see it's a closed construction. So it's all the plastic handles and it has the liner lock inserted in there. And so this this is a time when, you know, the open construction with the standoffs and fancier items, you know, just wasn't around yet. And so we see something a little bit more simple, more traditional folding knife. So, of course, no pocket clip. Um, we just see a lanyard hole, a nice big lanyard hole on the back. And, um, of course, the sheath. And now the sheath that came with is a nylon sheath. And you can tell it's been sitting for a while because when you open it up, Look at that, you can see the indent of the knife in the sheath, which I kind of like. It's kind of like form-fitted to it. So it just slides right in perfectly. And of course, the old school CRKT logo on there. Um, Velcro, basic nylon sheath for your belt. So I like it. I like the sheath. So if I was going to carry this knife, I would definitely use the sheath um, and use that with it. And of course, you could use it with any other knife that fits in as well. But comes in and out, no problem. So I think the sheath was worth spending a couple of extra bucks for. If anything, just for the old vintage CRKT logo on there, I kind of like that too. Um, but everything about this knife, again, year 2000, we're getting a blast from the past here. And we can see how far folding knives have come. Um, and what I always do, I always look up, every, every once in a while, I'll go to eBay, type in the, the key terms in the search bar, CRKT discontinued or CRKT rare. And I'll do it with other brands as well. But CRKT, it seems, they, they had a lot of really cool knives in, in the former years. Because what they come out with now is a little bit more modern, more exotic looking. Whereas back in the day, they had some tr really nice traditional models. And not, not all of them were great, but this is one of the ones I think that was pretty nice. So I just kind of look over eBay every once in a while for anything that catches my eye. And this one here did. And so again, it doesn't fit into all the same categories as a modern folding knife, you know, no pocket clip, it's not speed safe or assisted opening. It, it can be flicked open if, with enough wrist action, but it's really not designed for that. You know, the fact that the thumb stud, I mean, the thumb stud here is a piece of plastic. I mean, it's still very secure, it's not moving, but it has a Phillips screw holding it to the blade. I mean, it's easy to open with either hand. So the opening is super smooth, the lockup is super secure, the liner lock is a bit wonky, but again, you know, at the time they were still perfecting things like this. So, I mean, it's not that old, but um, it's interesting to see that in the design. So really cool knife, I just feel like sharing it. And of course, the seller who had this on sale, if I can, I will link to it in the description. I mean, they still had at least 10 available, and they had them at different price points. Some came with the sheath, some didn't. Some were listed as having some side-to-side -side blade play and some weren't. Um, some in the photos looked like they had spotting from rust from storage all these years and some didn't. So this was the best option available for $24.95 and I purchased it so you can get an idea of what they look like. Um, so you can see some scratches in the bead blast and it came like that but again not really a big deal. Uh, so this is just a knife that was probably meant to be used and you know it would work just fine for that same purpose to this day. And I know a lot of us out there prefer plain edge knives. And the only reason I didn't get the plain edge is because if the seller mentions it has blade play, that's not something I want to tempt fate with. So this one here, the lockup is decent enough, no play. Um, the liner lock, again, a bit different than what we're used to now, but it's secure. Blade doesn't budge. And it feels great in the hand. So for the dimensions, overall length is 9 inches. And the blade length is about 3.5 inches of sharpened edge. And from tip to the hilt, it's about four inches. And so it is a full-size knife, something that you're, you can get a lot of uh, work use out of if you wanted to, something to take camping with, would work great for any of those purposes. Um, I, you know, you shouldn't feel bad about beating on something like this because even though it was discontinued, um, you know, it was meant to be used. It's not a super collectible. I mean, they are still out there on the secondary market. If you look hard enough on eBay, you can even find new in-box examples. Um, that include the sheath, the original box, all the literature that came with it as well. So a really cool knife overall. 
And again, if you have any questions, this is kind of an odd video. I just felt like sharing this knife because it's not something that's going to float everyone's boat in this new world with EDC and tactical knives and titanium everywhere. But this is just a classic. And I think it was worth mentioning and getting everyone a closer look at this knife to see what it looked like. Um, but again, it's fully functional, no problems with it, and ready to be used even in 2017. So almost a 20-year-old knife right here, and it's um, serving the same purpose it could have when it first came out. So great to see these early designs, seeing where we got to where we are today in the folding knife industry, especially with a company like CRKT that's been around for a while. Um, some different designs they're sending out today, not quite as interesting, as to me at least, as what they had out in the past. So very cool design here. Thanks for watching, everybody, and you all have a great day.